Hello YouTubers, Zeltrax Millennium back with a review, vlog, or an unboxing. Please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you all enjoy the video. Hello YouTubers, this is Zeltrax Millennium with a brand new review for you, and part 2 of my Generations Trilogy 2! Weird, I said 2 in the exact same sentence. Hmm, who knew? So, right now, I'm starting on Megatron's right-hand man, well, more of a right-hand man than Starscream, Generations, War for Cybertron, Soundwave. I just picked this guy up and Dirge a while ago at Walmart, and they dropped the price down on Deluxes. They dropped them down to $9, which was amazing. So, uh, on to Soundwave, um, Soundwave was... Obviously, in the War for Cybertron video game, and I did play as him. Maybe. I don't know. I'll have to double check. But his car mode in the video game is wonderfully represented here. Um, I did paint a little bit on him. Because there was some detailing on, like, this bit right here. That didn't carry over to this part right here. So I just... Added that in with some new with some silver paint. Also, all the detailing on this vehicle mode is very nice. And thanks, to, I got new light bulbs, so that way I can show you more of the detailing than ever before. Oh god, that was terrible. Anywho, but yeah, there is some very nice detailing all over the place, including the wheels, which. That kind of reminds me of one of those clockwork Digimon. I don't know. I can't remember who it is on the top of my head, but I'm sure I'll probably annotate it in. But, eh, that kind of looks like a Digimon to me. Who <laughs> knows? So, let's go around here. Nice, uh, dark Energon purple all over this thing. Um, I didn't decide to paint the dark Energon things this time because, well, I was already, um, uh, a little tired. So I didn't bother. On the back here, it kind of looks like thrusters. Though, kind of looks like the ones from the... Kind of looks like the ones from the DeLorean. Hmm, who knows. But, yeah, very nice car mode, and I really like it. So, he does have a little bit of gimmicks in this mode, where... This pincer goes forward, these two drop down. Then you kind of got a, um... A mine sweeper mode, like... Universe Onslaught. That's that's kind of weird, and I don't know why they included that in. Let's just move that up. Oh, and another cool thing is that you can actually take his weapons out. And also, if you saw it during the video, I painted the inside of uh, Soundwave's tape tape deck thing because I thought that looked a heck of a lot better, and you can actually see the Decepticon logo pretty well. So yeah, you can actually take out his weapons, which hopefully I can get it out of here. There we go. And these things have some pretty good detailing of their own. Like, this one is Soundwave's iconic blaster. And this is his machine gun. I think it... Oh, I think it was a submachine gun, maybe. But these things can also attach to his vehicle mode to simulate the weapons that he had when you were in vehicle mode shooting the crit out of stuff. But yeah, I think it looked good. Now there are a couple of ni really nice touches to sound wave. Whereas, he actually has a fan-created alt mode. Which, I will actually go to that without adding in music this time, because I kind of like it. First, you separate the legs. Pop these out. And well, he actually has two fan alt modes. One of the most notorious ones I will actually do first without the foot popping off. And 
And right now you got Soundwave in a girl walk mode. Let's get on to the actual fan mode, shall we? So, what you gotta do to get the fan mode is put these, fiddle around with the legs until you get them to work with you. You just fiddle around with everything until you kind of get, until you kind of get something going. Oh, I forgot to unpack the foot. Not this foot. There we go. Just move that, move that leg, move this foot. And there you got, or, and there you basically got Soundwave in a fan-made boombox mode. It kind of looks like the one it, w it was from the video game, but, eh, it's okay. At least you can make a fan mode with this thing. So, now, let's get this thing back into... Let's get this thing in the robot mode. I'll, I'll stop the camera right here and I'll put him back in the vehicle mode so I can start the speed transformation into robot mode. Be back in a bit! Now we got Soundwave in robot mode. Now, as you can see, a lot of the paint apps I did also went into the robot mode as well. And, dang it. That's one major contention I have with this toy. It's that the wheels don't really go anywhere. I'm trying, I'm trying, oh. I just wish they went in a little bit more, or if there was another way for you to move them around without these spikes getting in the way of the arms. Anyway, you can't win them all, I guess. So, anywho, the paint apps I did into the robot mode were thusly. Let's actually take a look at the head, because that's where most of the uh, changes went to. I used a new shade of purple I got, which was called, well, if it's an acrylic purple, but I found that that was, that was the exact shade of purple that I needed for a Skywarp repaint I'm planning on doing once I buy a Universe Dirge at the beginning of the month. Commercial break! If you wanted to know what that purple color that I painted on Soundwave's head was, well, here's a picture telling you what it is. The picture will go away right about now. Back to the review already in progress. I also painted his... Island Silver, Islands Red, because it was originally a safety red, safety orange color, and also he had originally had purple light piping, but as with Megatron and Bumblebee, I had to paint the I had to paint the bar, I had to paint the light piping thing. I didn't do it with Bumblebee, but I probably will at the end of this video. Hmm, who knows? Anywho, let's get into the. Detailing of the... Hold on, let me just zoom out of here again. There's a lot of really good detailing on this robot mode. It's just... It's just exquisite. Sometimes I really love Transformers for detailing. And sometimes you just gotta paint in the details just to make them even more excellent. And also, as you saw during the transformation montage, you can hold his gun. And also put his uh, Gatling gun onto his shoulder, just like the original, G just like the original Soundwave. Let's get into articulation, and I also forgot to pull those back. Let's get into the articulation of Soundwave. His fist is on a swivel, where he can go 
all the way around, but I'm not going to try because for some reason the fists are really tight on mine. It's got double jointed elbows. Sorry, sorry, I had to do that. But yeah, he's got double jointed elbows, which is awesome. Outward shoulder movement that far, which is nice. Then his shoulders can go a full 360, but they do kind of smack into the back wheel here. And there's that's for the arms. Now for the legs, uh, this guy has the exact same leg problem as, well, not exactly the same leg problem as well. Dirt here, which I also picked up. His review is coming up right after this one. Um, here are the leg problems. I mean, obviously the articulation is pretty good. It's got a 360 swivel right here. Um, single jointed knees. Aww. Waist doesn't turn around due to transformation. Foot can pretty much go anywhere you want. Now, here's the contention I have with the legs. I mean, look at this. His, his leg can go out that far, but... It doesn't hold it for long. It's like the bottom of the leg is so heavy that it just droops automatically. But the right, but the right leg, it doesn't droop. It doesn't droop as fast. But Soundwave's legs are still loopy. And the head is not on a ball joint. Sadly, it is not. His head is really tight to turn, but it can go a full 360 around, which is very nice, but with the tight head movement here, it just doesn't work. And also, as I've found out, that Soundwave's head is kind of reminiscent of the Decepticon logo. Hmm, I wonder why they decided that. Who knows? Later, guys. Zeldrick Millennium, signing off.